This is your buddy Alert Wolf here to bring you another anime review. This time I'm doing it on Akendon, Eight Dogs of the East, episode 17. Alright. And this one is called Ignorance. Now, we finally get the start of our next little mini arc. After all, that's how they like to do it here. E these little mini arcs and I like to call this one uh, the Shrine Princess Yuna or Yana yeah there we go and this arc is basically simple there's there once lived this priestess who they called the princess and she had a power that was soon to be desired basically anyway sorry about that basically she was the bride of the local deity who was like a stag deity or something like that. He was a beer deity. And basically, Sosuke. Dark Sosuke, which is a. Uh, owl. Ao. Or Ao. Um, is interesting in obtaining this power, so he says he's gonna help her. So what he does is he kills. See what. Let me explain something. Alright, basically, think of her also similar to Yang Yang Yang, where she has half the deity's power, and that deer had the other half, the male half, so to speak. When Sosuke killed the male half, uh, or evil Sosuke, he's trying to absorb power and get stronger. She no hears about this and decides to go into town. He's Accompanied by Sosuke and Kabungo, and Kimpachi's already there for his own business. Later, we get uh, the dude everybody confuses for a chick uh, there as well. And basically, they're on the search for this guy. Uh, so Sosuke gets sent in as a as a dog to monitor the situation with the uh, excuse me with the temple priestess or the princess and he spends time with her and she's a normal girl who's in a depression however when she gets too angry the mark leaves her body and destroys the people that pissed her off such as uh, the townspeople that were talking shit about her uh, and then when he got back, she, she had a small blood on her, but it was like her solo. And the reason for this is, they, uh, we also get a scene where uh, Shino finally runs into a Ao, Ao, our evil Sosuke. And uh, they run into each other, and Shino wants the bead back. And he wants to ask him some questions. Just then is when the dude that kind of looks like a chick shows up and he sword battles him. When when Shadow Sosuke reveals uh, some interesting tidbits. The only reason why he went after him was because uh, their family ruined his family's life somehow. And even the sword you hold was supposed to be his. And so that's interesting. But he gives him a good slash. Doesn't kill him because he can't, because they're all slightly immortal. And uh, he knocks out Sasuke and takes him away. This is when they go to get uh, Sasuke and tell Sasuke what's going on. This is when he runs off as a dog. Now, he finds out everything. You see, they're trying to spare him of the pain. And uh, now Shino and the evil Sosuke are talking just uh, just before, uh, just to see what's going on and whatnot. They're, they're BSing, and then uh, Sosuke gets given by the guy who looks like a girl the other sword, the twin sword, the white twin sword, and he goes after him. 
So there's this epic moment where they're standing face by face, or side by, not side by side, but uh, face to face, yeah. And I, I think I'm going to use that as the thumbnail. Now, just before this, we also find out a little bit more about the seals. He's not going to kill the human because the other half is so weak right now that it's going to... It, it's gonna want to escape and it's gonna use up her life force and she's basically gonna die anyway so why bother killing her and so then you uh that's when that's when uh we, we fast back forward and it looks like things are really starting t to heat up and get serious when sosuke and Dark Sosuke are finally face to face, looking like they're ready to throw down. Uh, and that's how the episode ends. That little thing at the end really got me interested and amped up for the next episode. I think all in all, I was super excited to see the next arc begin, you know? And I, I dig where it's going, you know? And I really like, you know, because I like Evil Sosuke, so... Sorry about that. So the fact that it's going this route is super cool to me. Um, so having said all that, I think I'm going to give this uh, three and a half out of five. Thought it was a very good episode. Uh, definitely had me in. I'm not going to say going, but it definitely had me riveted at certain points. You know what I mean? Uh, or towards the end, anyway. Because any time you put Dark Sosuke in this show, it's a it's a win win for everybody. So. And this was, and this arc is going to be him heavy. So I, I cannot wait for this to keep going. But uh, all right, that's enough out of me. So click it up if you like it, comment if you must, and please, please, please subscribe if you can. This is your buddy Alert Wolf signing out.